you have sun in india let's say in the afternoon you have morning in middle east and then you have even early morning in africa and as the sun shifts the plan is can we transfer the electrons from south asia to west and then to africa and the other way round because when it is afternoon in africa we have late in india so the peak peak power of each country is able to uh, transfer some of the electricity in in the other region point that i would like to make is that we collectively but also at national level identify the off grid sector as one of urgent socio economic development but also one that with analogies in in other parts of the world that would bring a lot of yeah a lot of social and a lot of economical development benefits to any of those countries if you want to have a scalable business and it has to be scalable to meet the challenge of the remaining 900 million people who need access to these services it has to be profitable you have to be able to leverage private capital into these solutions that that people want to make a return on um whether we like capitalism or not it's it's here to stay probably um and um and so we we needed to create a, a solution that was profitable idea one is uh, we are trying to create a world solar bank you know it is a bank that will understand the sun you know it will it will it will have all the patience that sun has you know be kind to others don't charge too much i mean the sun doesn't charge anything to that matter it doesn't discriminate about each and poor you know town and village so but this bank when you say it will understand the sun which means it will have three things together skill speed and uh, uh, scale see gone are the days shelmet when we had to convince countries that climate change is happening or solar is important now uh, that convincing is gone right yeah so what the honorable director general is trying to do by creating the world solar bank is aggregating millions of dollars on the ground aggregating gigawatts so he can pitch it as a demand aggregation to the investors but i'll tell you we are not worried about the financing part because the sovereign wealth funds the private equity funds financing is there in the market what is not there is bankable projects on the ground and energy catalyst acts as a springboard for innovators to as luke mentioned de-risk the early stage of their innovation and give them the opportunity to accelerate and demonstrate their solutions for the ending of energy poverty so far energy catalyst we've supported about 345 projects which involves over 300 individual organizations and the reach of that is across a total of around 140 million that's been invested into these projects <laughs>